the so name of your film, sir, Born to Run, is very well aligned with the motto of my school, which is Born for Greater Things. Okay, so uh, in that context, thank you. And uh, I think my boys and my teachers are also happy to. Teachers in this particular generation, parental expectations are great. I don't know where uh, the uh, parents have got have set that standard. This, I mean, they have a hidden standard in their mind. Possibly it has come, they have read, it could be something that they have seen. And unconsciously, they uh, compare their child to that standard in their mind. Okay? The standard would be the neighbor's kid also. And uh, because, okay, now, that's very sad. Okay? Uh, we can't say anything. This is what the parent wants. And this is went into what Buddha did and what happened to him and how he became this child prodigy and the world's uh, youngest child marathon runner. Do you think if he had been in a different country, he would perhaps have been encouraged more? Do you feel that in India, our young talent is not given that kind of support from the system, from the state, from the government? Yes, this has been the case, I think, uh, since the time uh, we've got independence. Somewhere we, we concentrated only on few areas like, you know, doctors, engineers and, and after that we started forgetting that any other fields which exist which can really, you know, uh, take your child forward mentally and emotionally. Uh, the, the, the place I come from, you know, acting was, was considered the lowest of the job. Okay. Uh, and uh, Till the age or till the time I, you know, took the train for Delhi to study in Delhi University and do theatre, I didn't have the courage to, you know, say to my parents or to my, you know, to my friends that I want to become an actor. Because the only thing they were expecting me, the entire society wanted me to become is, was either, you know, doctor or engineer. Uh, so this is the society that we made for ourselves. That. Um, we, I, I, I so agree with ma'am, my daughter goes to school, the way we are treating our children is so, I mean, so criminal actually. I mean, I started calling today's children as trophy children. You know, they can't do anything wrong. You know, they, they, they should not have any freedom. They should always look good. They should be compared with the best that which is there in parents' mind. So when, I'm coming back to your question, when we talk about Make in India, this is also part of Make in India. I mean, look at Chetri. We are, we are so proud of him. We have a sportsman, we are so proud of him. And I, as an Indian, I want to be proud of many such talents. I'm always looking for one. And Budhya, kind of a, a child, in other country, would have been a legend by now, at the age of 14. He would have been written about, talked about, you know, celebrated about. But, you know, this is the, this is the tragedy of, of, of our country, that we could not even celebrate that five-year-old boy's ability. I'm not talking about his achievement. I'm talking about his ability and passion to nurture him passion to, you know, protect him, protect his, his, uh, his, his, you know, his ability to, you know, uh, to go far. And this is sad. Budhya, and there are too many Budhyas in this country. I have seen from my own eyes in my own small town, you know, uh, one cricketer, uh, he was from my school, he, people used to say that, you know, he's, he's one of the best. Uh, at the age of 12, he, uh, Experts used to say that he's one of the best spinner. And where is he today? You know, because we stop looking for talents, because we don't care for talents. We, we only want achievements, but we don't want the process. Very interesting point that you made, that make in India should be that we make these kind of talents, we make Olympians, we make Olympians who hit gold at the Olympics. So, Neil, 105 athletes in the Indian delegation going to the Olympics, thrice the number in the Chinese delegation. Does that upset you, the number and the parity? Uh, oh, this is a difficult one. You know, every time that I, that I watch uh, Olympics and we see the front runners like America and 
you know, China. And I think what do they do differently that we don't? So the, 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 the one of the main reasons is sports medicine. Number two is they take care of sports very well. Number three is they put a lot of infrastructure. But one of the most important reasons is they have a bigger